I'm going to show you how to make a professional movie poster in Photopea using a simple text effect that puts your image inside the text. And it's 100% free. The first thing you want to do is go to your preferred design tool and mine is Photopea and it's completely free. Once you're here, you're going to want to click on new project. For the size here, go ahead and type in 1400 by 2100. Name your project movie poster. Once you're done with that, leave everything else the same and click create. The first thing you want to do is find your picture online. I'm going to be using John Wick for the example, or if you guys have your own picture in your computer somewhere, go ahead and drag that in Photopea. But I'm going to be using John Wick as the example. If you found yours online, what you want to do is right click on it and either save it to your desktop or go ahead and copy it. Go back into Photopea and click on Control V to paste it. Now I'm going to click on Control Alt and T to free transform it. Grab one of the boxes and scale it up until it fits inside of your poster canvas. Once it's centered, you'll see like a red cross pop up. That means it's completely centered. Click that check mark. Now go ahead and delete this background layer right here and go ahead and click on Control J to duplicate this layer right here. So now we have two pictures of John Wick. Name the top one top and the bottom one bottom by double clicking on the text and then changing the text. Now let's go ahead and type in some text. So go to your text tool right here and click anywhere on your canvas and type in some text. I'm gonna type in John and first go ahead and hide the top layer real quick. Now go back to your text, double click on it, adjust the size or if you can't go any further, you can either type it in manually or hit Control Alt T and scale it up again. Now I'm gonna change the font, so go ahead and double click on your text to select it all and change the font up here. I think I'm going to go with the font Anton for this one and click that check mark once you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and recenter it here. Now hit Control and J to duplicate the text and move it down. Now this one's going to be Wick. Check mark. So now the text is black, we wanna change it to white. So double click on your text. Go up here, click on this box right here and change it to white and do that for the bottom text as well. So now we can actually see the text, but I think we should make the text a little bit bigger. So hit control alt T scale it up again as well as John. Now let's just go ahead and select both of these by hitting control and clicking on both of them and making sure it's centered. So now what we're going to do is we are going to right click on the text, make sure both are selected and click on convert to smart object or rasterize. I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now you can see the text is all one piece and you can drag it around. Now unhide the top layer right here by clicking the eyeball and right click on it and click on clipping mask. Now don't worry, it looks like nothing changed, but trust me, it has. Click on this bottom layer here, go up to image adjustments and brightness and contrast. Now turn down the brightness just a little bit to about negative 100 and go up to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. You can leave it at about seven. So now you can see it's already looking pretty cool, but it's kind of hard to read the text. So how do we fix that? Go ahead and click on your top layer and we're gonna do the opposite of what we did to the bottom layer. Go up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast and turn the brightness up like so and click okay when you're done. Next, I'm going to change it to where this light blue is more of a dark blue. So go down here to the bottom right, it's the new adjustment layer menu, and go to hue and saturation. Make sure it's at the very top of all of your layers and adjust just the hue slider. There we go, I'm happy with this. Next, I'm going to add a vignette on the background. So go ahead and click on your background layer, click on new layer down here, go to your brush tool, hold alt and right click and drag your mouse right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller, up to make it softer, down to make it harder. We're going to make it about this size right here and make sure this top box is black. Then go ahead and draw around his character and turn the opacity down just a little bit. Next, we're going to make the text stand out even more. So go down here to the bottom right and click on new layer. Make sure your brush tool is selected and make sure this top box is white. Click on that new layer you just made and change it to overlay. Then just left click at random points in the text or even just on the picture in general. And next we're gonna be using a plugin. So I'll show you how to get that right now. Go up to window, plugins, and search up Super Bloom. Here it is, go ahead and click on that and click install. Once you did that, click this X and it should be over here on the right side of your screen. It looks like a pyramid. So go ahead and click on that. Change the brightness to 25 and you should be done. Then click add to document and it added a nice little glow around everything and it looks 
freaking sick. Before I show you how to export, I highly recommend checking out my website because there's tons of free graphics packs that you guys can use to make these designs even better. And not only that, but I also do commissions if you guys want to save time and just pay me a few dollars and I'll make you something really awesome. And now we're ready to export. So go to the top left of your screen and click on file, export as, PNG is higher quality, but it's also a bigger file. JPEG is not as high quality, but it's a smaller file. So depending on what you want to do, go ahead and click on which one you want and click on save. And now you can see our poster is complete and it looks awesome.